you can now connect to over 100 data sources from Power BI Report Builder to create print-ready paginated reports. For this demo, I'm going to create an NYC taxi report by connecting to a Snowflake database. Let's get started. First, be sure to install the latest build of Power BI Report Builder. Once you've done that, navigate to the Data tab. Click on the Get Data option on the toolbar. When you click on the Get Data option, you will see the Power Query Experience launch. Choose the data source. Enter the server information, the warehouse information, and connection credentials. You can either create a new connection or use an existing shareable cloud connection. Note, when you create a new connection, a shareable cloud connection will be created. Click on Next. Select the tables that you want for your RDL or paginated report. I'm going to create select two tables here and transform data. For this demo, I'm going to combine these two tables or merge as new. For the first table, I'm going to select the taxi zone lookup. And for my second table, I'm going to pick the NYC taxi data. I'm going to do a left outer join on the location ID and pick up location ID. Looks fine. Click on OK. I'm also going to go ahead and pick the columns that I want in my RDL data set or for my paginated report. So I'm going to pick record ID. I'm going to pick drop off location. I'm going to pick trip distance and total amount. Looks fine. Go ahead. Once I have that, I'm going to rename my query to all information. Note this will be the name of your RDL data set. Once I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and define a parameter. I'm going to call this PO lock. Pick up location. This is of type decimal. I'm going to pick 41. I'm going to define another parameter for my drop off location. This is also of type decimal. And I'm going to enter a value 168. Okay. Note for the preview. The last M query is picked to create the RDL data set. So I've gone ahead and moved my merge table or the all information table to the end or of the queries in the Power Query editor. Now all of this looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and define the condition. So when my location ID is same as my, yeah, I've called it PO log, or log. This would be okay. So this looks fine. I'm going to go ahead and create. It's fine. As you can see, the data set is created with the columns that I've selected. And you'd see a data source called Power Query. Note, you will only see one Power Query data source 
irrespective of the number of times you go through the get data flow. Once I've done this, I'm going to add a parameter here. Let me call this the work. It's the data type integer. I'm going to have a default value of 41. I'm going to define another parameter. This is going to be drop off location. And this is a data type integer. Default value, I'm going to create and add one, 168. Now, to map my parameters, go ahead to parameters, and then I define that as PO lock. In Power Query, that maps to this, PO lock, which maps to drop off location. Looks fine. I'm going to go ahead and create a simple table. I've inserted a table. This is going to have the record ID. I'm going to add the trip distance and total amount. I'm going to run the report. As you can see, the pickup location is 41 and drop off is 168. And the report looks fine. I'm now going to go ahead and publish this report to my workspace. I'm going to call this taxi report. Go ahead and publish. And now the report is available in the Power BI service. Thank you.